perfect, perfect, perfect. What is up, fam? It's real blue. Uh, and we're back with another video. We got a lot of people, uh, not only who watched the latest video, but also commented on it, uh, made some replies to the original tweet of the video, even quote tweeted it. You know, there was a lot of traffic around that video talking about, uh, you know, nobody wants to sign up for all these different reasons. But, you know, I like to think of the bright side. Uh, but I just can't find a bright side. So I thought, okay, how can we get teams to sign up for a game that doesn't get marketed properly, right? So I, c I couldn't really think of a way to make this video because it just didn't fit. But now it does. Where is this team that I'm about to show you, right? This team... Uh, I don't remember seeing this at all when they announced this roster. Uh, so anyways, this is a, this is a roster announcement from team singularity, dude. Okay. I, if you guys remember this, please, please let me know in the comments below because I do not right? like this is. So good. I, oh, wow. They actually picked up 705 Esports uh, Call of Duty Challengers team. So that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, those are some good players on that team. But, like, this, this roster was announced. Okay, so let's walk through this because this is in 2020. This is in 2020. Like, obviously, Rome saw it. He, he said, welcome to Rogue. You know, Golden saw it. Fank saw it. Uh... Elvin just trick Exa or exotics Exo Toby Campbell, who I think was trying to be a caster at some point. Uh, and Kamika who casts challengers, uh, in clutch GG, I think it was trying to be a, a, a caster for this as well. So like people that I know saw this, so many replies a lot of a lot of people from sanguine saying good luck you know things like that but yeah i i never saw this tweet as you can see i never favored it nothing i don't remember this tweet i don't remember seeing this right this was october 11th at 2020 they even announced it at 4 20 p.m i don't know if that's a joke but um all right, so let's see what it says. Today, we officially enter Rogue Company with a talented NA squad ready to make their mark on the scene and grind the ladder to the top. Okay. All right. The team, Decoys, Dittmer, Lucid, and Slick. Okay. In the graphic, there's different names. There's decoys. Dittmer looks like their name is Aloof, Al Aloof Merk, Aloof Merk, Lucid and Slick. So there's only one different name. I don't know a single one of these players. I've never seen any of them sign up for any tournaments. This was October 11th, 2020. We had only done the, the, let me go through the mind palace real quick because I can figure this out. This is during the CMG beginning phase. This is when we were doing, or when CMG was doing daily tournaments. There are basically scrims in a tournament center. I don't remember seeing them sign up for a tournament like at all, at all. Dead serious. They didn't sign up for the 8K. I know that for sure. I have all the rosters from those. Seriously, all the rosters. They were never in a 10K. Where's this team now? Maybe, maybe this team thought that strikeout was going to be part of the the competitive where 
Call him up, Pyres. Call him up. Hey guys. Hey decoys. Uh, Luth Merc, Lucid, Slick. Yo, we got uh we got strikeout in there for you. <laughs> Move.gg did an article. Today we officially enter Rogue Company with a talented NA squad ready to make their mark on the scene and grind the ladder to the top. What fucking ladder? And uh no. I've never heard of a single one of these players. Make their mark on the scene. The only mark they made was the announcement tweet. Already in August. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. The, all right. So the founder and CEO of Team Singularity, quote, said, I'm excited for Team Singularity to enter Road Company as I've, I've big, okay, I have big expectations to its esports ecosystem. Hmm. Well, you obviously have not dealt with high res. I've found four talented individuals that I'm confidently given the SNG banner to, and I'm looking forward to help the team develop and make a mark on the game. Okay, they're talking about making a mark, dude. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, look at this. Decoys. Uh, did they all make a, okay, they all. All right, this is awesome. They all have a quote. All right, let's read from the top to bottom. Decoys. I'm proud to say that I'm now part of Team Singularity. I'm more than ready to bring home glory and trophies to the Sang Army in Rogue Company. I really love this game, and I'm confident that our squad will be one of the best in the NA region. Let's see what Slick's got to say. Joining Team Singularity has been a dream come true. Being able to take my love of gaming and having the opportunity to play for a professional organization is an opportunity I won't take for granted. Since the first time I played Rogue Company, I knew I had the talent to play for an organization. I couldn't have asked for a better one with Team Singularity. The expectations for myself and the team are to come in and win. Team chemistry will be extremely important, and it has already began between all of us, and I'm looking forward to showcasing, uh, showcasing is one word, whoever wrote this, not just my talent, but the talent of the team. Since the first time I played Rogue Company, I knew I had the talent to play for an organization. From the very start, I wanted to be pro, and now I have that chance. I'm ready to win, grow, and conquer with this team. I expect championships, not one, but multiple. Reaching this milestone has made me hungrier than ever, and I'm excited to start the grind with these guys. I expect championships, not one, but multiple. Who the f does this guy think he was? LeBron James? Not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Joining Team Singularity is going to be a, a life changer for a life changer for period. Turning a dream into a reality of playing games professionally is what they have done for not just me, but my team. I knew that I had a talent for this and I did not let it go to waste. I knew I that I had talent for this and I did not let it go to waste. You fucking did, man. You didn't sign up for the first 8K. You didn't sign up for the second 8K. You didn't sign up for 12 10K events. And then you didn't sign up for the spring series. It's been week one of the summer series. Where the fuck is Team Singularity? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that I get to spend all my time with this amazing organization. First time I jumped onto Road Company, I knew for sure this was the game I wanted to spend hours in and grind. This title will have so much in store for the next years, and you will see Singularity at the top of this title. They announced it on Facebook as well. <laughs> Same day, October 11th, 2020. All right. Look at this. They even got an article on esportsgen.com.
little, little quick article there. Okay. All right, so this was October 11th, 2020. Today we are officially parting ways with our rogue company team. A news that not really new at this. A news that not really new as this was unofficially announced already in November of 2020. Upon entering, we had high hopes to the game and esports scene. But that, but as it's still early days in rogue company esports, then we have decided to focus on other game titles currently. We'll get back into Rogue Company when the time is right. I believe the signing of our Rogue Company team was a bit too hasty in retrospect. And at the same time, I for once hadn't done my talent research well enough to be completely honest. I believe the game has great potential as an esport, but with FPS games like CSGO, Valorant, PUBG, Fortnite, etc., having major audience and well-established esports programs, then these will be our priority and focus for now. Uh, okay, well, they made a smart decision there. Uh, so here's the thing, all right? In all seriousness, I'm done clowning them. They made a huge mistake by jumping into a high-res esport as fast as they did. Uh, in October 11th, 2020, which means that they were probably you know, rushing into this. So if you go back, uh, probably like to September, August of 2020, we were, there was just tournaments on CMG daily tournaments, right. For like the biggest one was like 500 bucks or like 800 bucks or like maybe even a thousand dollars. And yeah, it was sustainable at the time, but then we moved into an $8,000 tournament with so many qualifiers, by the way. Uh, They, they just didn't, I, I don't think they were ready for it. And yeah, you look at games like CSGO, that game's been around for almost a decade, if not around that time. Uh, so it just has that that nostalgic fan base. And it, and it continues to be as popular as it is because it's one of the first esports titles, right? That is one of the grandfathers of esports. You cannot, you can't stop CSGO. I mean, it doesn't even get support from its actual dev as much as it should. Um, you know, it's the same people playing mostly for the most part. It's just, it's a grandfather, right? Uh, and then you have Valorant. And Valorant is is made by Riot, who have revolutionized esports, right? So it's... you, And then you have PUBG, who are massive and came from a mod. Uh, but really, PUBG Mobile is what has taken off, uh, especially in Asia. And then you have Fortnite. And Fortnite is made by Epic. Fortnite was a failure at first, by the way. They weren't selling. It was a $60 PvE game. Um, and then they made a Battle Royale and went free to play and everything took off but they have so much money to pour into it at the start because epic is the are the ones who create unreal engine rogue company runs on unreal engine all right so epic created a a game uh engine for other developers to use so they made a bunch of money off that they made unreal engine uh, unreal tournament they made other games and they were successful they have a launcher where they give uh, developers a place to market sell their games and they give the developer a bigger portion of it um but they're still making money that way uh and then and then that's where they got all their money to pour into fortnite and then they just made a shit ton of money from fortnite it was a culture of a cultural phenom, right? And it continues to be successful. So before you go into my comments or before you guys are all talking about oh, blah, 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 CSGO, Valorant, PUBG, Fortnite, 
when you compare Rogue Company and High Res to those companies and those titles, esports wise, that's like comparing Skechers to fucking Nike, man. Don't do it because it's a waste of your breath. So come back down to reality and let's talk about High Res. For this team, though, I don't know where they are. Are these players still trying to compete? Like, you can. You won't be with Singularity. And, you know, like all this fucking shit you were talking. You had the talent, didn't want it to go to waste. You're wasting it, man. Drop in to the Summer Series. Let's see what you got, right? Lucid, Aloof Merc, Dittmer, whatever you want to be called. Slick, Decoys. Where you at, man? Haven't seen you in a single tournament. That's it for this video. Just wanted to point out that there are teams out there that might have interest. It's just, do any of these guys know Rome? Do any of these guys know that they have to get into a Discord and then send a picture of their, their Vax card and send a picture of their ID to play remotely from home? Let's get it! Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And click that like button. Smash it! Especially if you're a Lancer main. If you're a Lancer main, you got to hit like. It's just, it's a rule of YouTube now. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, hello there. It's Blue. I'm a terrible dancer, so ignore that version of me on the screen and listen to my voice when I say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and of course, click on another video of mine. I heard you'll like those over there. They're pretty good.